This is a sermon from Metropolitan Neophytos of Morpho, entitled Saint Paisios and Saint Isaac of Syria. Along with Saint Neophytos, who is known to us also through the many miracles he performs, thus the many celebrations in each church of Cyprus and holy icons of his exist everywhere. Today, I want to present in your love a saint who was named by the great modern saint Paisios as the much wronged saint of our church. I am talking about an even older saint of our church, a saint, an ascetic from Syria, thus his name, Saint Isaac the Syrian, who lived during the 7th century in the area of Mesopotamia. He lived and practiced asceticism there and left us as I have said and written in a book, the doctorate, if the use of the term is permitted, of the ascetic state of every fighting Orthodox Christian. There is nothing better to recommend somebody to read, regardless of whether he is an amateur in the ascetic life, or he is mediocre, or even if he is in a state of enlightenment. Nothing better than the writings of St. Isaac the Syrian. St. Paisios, who cherished him, used to say to us and to many visiting him that, quote, the worth of the book Ascetics by St. Isaac the Syrian is equal in value to 10 libraries full of patristic books, end quote. This book was written in the Syrian language during the ninth century. Two monks of the monastery of St. Sabas, the sanctified in Palestine, who were well aware of the Syrian and the Greek language, translated this book to Greek. From then on, it never stopped being translated in all the languages of the world. It was even translated to Japanese. But we have been captured by the modern passions of laziness and mediocrity, as St. Pythirius used to say. We, the modern Greeks, not the old ones, we, the new ones, have been corrupted by both consumerism and the atheist words of Europe. These two things weave the shroud of the Greek nation, St. Pythurius used to say. Nowadays, who can read the beautiful language of ancient Greek? Yet I will read you just one page so you can realize how understandable this language is, our language, the Greek one, and what crime is committed by the so-called modern ministries of education so that, this, so that this language is not taught as it should be in all classes. We should start from primary school and continue into secondary school until we have attained at least the level of knowledge required for the study of the original language of the gospel, ancient Greek. But that is an issue for another time. Before I complete my homily, I hope that at least one or two of you will leave here with a desire to study these books, either laymen or clergy. Saint Paisios used to tell me in person, you, among the many flaws you have, one flaw of yours is that you are a bookworm. This is not a good thing. You do not leave much time to your noose for prayer. You always prefer reading. This will be apparent as a problem later on. Right now you cannot realize it. You even think it's an advantage. Those books, my son, of the Holy Fathers are to be read little by little, but every single day. And when I say little, two chapters from the Holy Gospel, three sittings, Kathismata, of the Psalter, and two pages from St. Isaac. St. Paisios had an icon in his cell, a paper icon, not like our aristocratic ones, a paper icon in which St. Isaac is seated and writes his ascetics with a feather, as there were no pens back then. The people of the time used to write with a feather of a big bird and ink. Saint Neophytos and all the saints, this is how they wrote their writings, with a feather. I am telling you this because it's important and it's a joyful narration so I can help you rest a bit. Saint Paisios was so excited by these ascetic writings of Saint Isaac the Syrian and as he was looking at this paper icon of a saint sitting and writing, he turned to him and said, my Saint Isaac, I like to highlight the books. Give me your feather so I can highlight the whole book. There is not a single word that is without value, a sentence that is not the light of Christ. 
give me your feather so I can highlight the whole book. And not only did he have his, this thought, but he wrote it down in his book so that today the book he was reading exists with the words in it. My saint, give me your feather so I can highlight the whole book. Such was the value he discovered and the spiritual food for his soul. He told me, wherever you go, whatever you do, you will have one book open on your desk, St. Isaac the Syrian. Never finish him, meaning read the book again and again, regardless of how many years you live. If you visit my office, even if all the other books are closed, St. Isaac is always open. St. Paisius also told me, read it little by little. It is so vitamin-rich that you cannot read more than two pages at a time and understand them. Then, go back. Go back and never say, I finished St. Isaac. There is no end. Perfection is endless. And St. Isaac the Syrian is one of the perfect of the great saints. So every day I read one or two pages of St. Isaac and highlight. One day, when I was in Evrihu, I was so excited by what I was reading that I remembered the feather. And I say, my Saint Isaac, Saint Paisios was right. Every single word of yours is gold and it must be highlighted. Saint Paisios, send me a feather so I can highlight the whole book, I told him. A few days later, that is four or five days, a spiritual child of ours and a very close friend of Father Yakovos, our, our Achim, Archimandrite, arrived at the metropolis of Morfu to visit. Vasilis from Thessaloniki comes into our office and tells me, Metropolitan, I brought you a gift. I am not sure if you will like it, but since I know that you are always in front of a book, I thought bringing you a gift which the ancient scholars, the educated ones, always had in their hand. I thought he must have brought me a Parker pen. I open a rectangle box, and what do you think was inside it, Marius? A feather. I say, Lord, have mercy. The saints here even are jokes. Inside this book that we published, we added the photo of the feather, and here it is. I wrote under the picture, the feather sent by St. Paisios to highlight the ascetics of our favorite St. Isaac the Syrian. From then on, we also made him a beautiful holy icon, the one you venerate here. He wears this Eastern Sarikian on his head. Now, summing up, and in order to proceed to the six Psalms, except Salmos, I will read you one page in Greek as translated by the fathers in the ninth century, so you can realize the depth of the Holy Spirit. Because all these writings are not St. Isaac's, they are the result of the illumination of the Holy Spirit. Before that, let me tell you why St. Paisios used to speak of St. Isaac as the wronged saint. In the Synaxaria and the liturgical books, the saint was not mentioned. Some pious people, mostly monks, aware of his ascetic, theological, neptic, therapeutic value, used to honor him next to the other, also great writer from Syria, Saint Ephrem the Syrian, who is commemorated on the 28th of January. And they said, quote, And the saint and God-bearer of the God-bearer father of ours, Saint Isaac the Syrian, end quote. He had neither a politikion, nor contakion, nor megalinarion, nor service. Why this injustice? Because some were accusing St. Isaac of being a bit Nestorian, as he lived in Mesopotamia among heretic Nestorians. For that, he is not numbered among the saints. Imagine how strict Byzantines were. But even though he lived in a heretic environment, the saint not once performed liturgy with heretics. It is that important, my fathers, to be careful with whom we perform liturgy. The years and the centuries passed, and St. Isaac, the great unknown, went without being commemorated, without giving any glory, a wronged saint. 
St. Paisios had this gift. He owned a TV and he could see both the heavenly and the earthly, as with all great saints. One day, St. Paisios was in a monastery and he heard a monk speaking against St. Isaac. What a great book this is, but this saint was a heretic. He was in bad faith. St. Paisios did not say anything, but he was saddened. I started going back to my cell, and I was saddened for these words spoken against St. Isaac, because in every single line of his book I was reading, I could feel the greatness of this saint. On the other hand, I was confused. How could they not write an apolitikion for him? So many neo-martyrs were their own apolitikion. Is there something wrong with the life of the saint? So, a small question mark crossed St. Paisio's mind. As he was climbing to go to his cell, right in the middle of the road, a big screen opened in front of him, and all the saints started walking in front of him. What a scene! First St. Antonius, then St. Pachomius, St. Hilarion, all the saints were passing right in front of him, and he bowed to them, and they were blessing him. At one point, St. Isaac passed. He stopped and talked to them. Father Paisios, do not be saddened. I have heard such words against me for years, but it is there in the glory of God that I reside. My father, I lived in Mesopotamia among heretic Nestorians, but not once did I perform a liturgy with them. On the contrary, I was trying to bring them to the Orthodox faith. You can celebrate me with a holy icon and write me a service. The next day, St. Paisios is on his feet. And where do you think he went, Marius? To Gerasimus Mikroyananitis, the great hymnographer, at little St. Anne's Skeet in Mount Athos. With tears, he told the virtuous Father Gerasimus about the vision he had. And he, Father Gerasimus, wrote the service that our cantors sang today. This service that you sing is after the order of St. Paisios, and it was written by the also sanctified hymnographer Gerasimus Mikroyananitis. So you see that a saint is known by a saint, and how important it is to hold in reverence our saints, and especially these great saints. Know that when the other saint, St. Neophytos, wrote in isolation for 40 years, he took into account the writings of St. Isaac. St. Isaac had an incredible memory. He could remember entire books by heart. But before he lived in isolation in, in Eglistra, do you know what he did? He visited all the monasteries of Cyprus and bought theological books and created a great library. And he studied. St. Neophytos was a really studious saint. And with the grace of the Holy Spirit, he wrote his own writings. It seems that one of the writings he had belonged to St. Isaac. I remember a verse that I very much liked, even for my university years. I will say it to you, and I will finish, so we can connect the two saints. Which date did St. Paisius pick for the celebration of St. Isaac, the wronged one? He separated his celebration He separated his celebration from the 28th of January and he suggested the 28th of September as his celebration date. Hence, we Cypriots have the great blessing of celebrating the great saint of Cyprus, the same date as the great saint, not only of Orthodox Syria, which exists, but of the whole Orthodoxy. Ecumenical saints, both of them. Saint Isaac, incredibly great. Saint Neophytos, great, and now that his writings have been published by the monastery of Eglista of Paphos, you will see that little by little, the reading of the writings of St. Neophytos will lead him to a position that is worthy for him in the theological, doxological, ascetic, therapeutic letters. I conclude with a verse that is saved in St. Neophytos' writings and probably belongs to St. Isaac, because I also found it in St. Isaac. As we said, one a saint of the 7th century, the other saint fell asleep in the beginning of the 13th century, 1221. Saint Neophytos says, I am clay, I need a technician. 
become my technician because in wisdom you created everything. The great artist who created everything, very good. See Genesis 1.31, so that man can enjoy them and make me your proper vessel. This English translation of the Sermon of Metropolitan Neophytos of Morphu was recorded for Otelders, O-T-E-L-D-E-R-S, Orthodox Teaching of the Elders, by Peter Eliades. Find Otelders on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. Remember to visit our website, O-T-E-L-D-E-R-S dot org. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash O-T-E-L-D-E-R-S and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash O-T-E-L-D-E-R-S.